What's up, everybody? It's Kaiser Axe. So, with my partner, uh, Grand Chiratori. Let's go. I finally got it right. <laughs> Let's go. It only took, what, eight videos. Even though this is going in. That's what we've been waiting for. Woo! Yeah, we've Ooh. been waiting for that. Anyways, we are here bringing you another match between our newcomer, Noah, otherwise known as Tenebris Choir, versus our resident Dragon Master, Kanakazak. Glenn, thoughts? Um, I think it's going to be a very interesting match, especially since we do see two Steel Tight Dragons on Zach's team up against this full up poison lineup. That Ooh actually boy. makes a lot of sense since steel types, my very favorite things, are immune to, to, uh, to poison. So those are going to be very crucial. That way Zach can have that whole, you know, longevity. But uh, of course, Zach did bring in the Latios and the Garchomp, which I was predicting he would bring looking at this line, you know, just type matchup because why wouldn't he? Uh, uh, and then Noah has Breaking quite an interesting... Points chill on the raging bull just wait for your match on that one but noah out here bringing some very interesting pokemon L looks like a lot of tanky pokemon it's not too much offensive pressure but we'll see what's gonna happen uh these two put uh people are waiting for the battle so let's hop right in hopefully they just all right start. okay okay and <laughs> in comes the glamora versus oh actually it's right a duraludon here. rather than an archelodon Oh, yeah! You... Oh, that's a good oh. Mm. Earth power doing almost about half. Sets up the Holy stealth rocks. That's actually shelf. really Whoa. nice. So we know that this isn't an AV, but rather probably more of an offensive. <gasps> and he goes for the mortal spin. Mm. He doesn't realize that poison type, um, poison type moves are ineffective against art. You know, steals have immunity. But down goes the Glamora, and in comes the Sneasler. Followed up with a close Sneasler, combat. Close fires combat. right back. Sneezer not only fast, but it also hits hard. Uh, introduced in, of course, RCS, but in comes the Haxorus. And, uh. Zach's signature Pokemon. Okay. Okay, the Pokemon. fact that it outsped means that it, this is probably a Scarf Haxorus. So I'm thinking Noah might be in trouble pretty soon if he doesn't find some oh way boy. to stop this. Haxorus is quite big. He ice me, but it's not strong enough. Yes, Toxapex rather known for its bulk rather than going for offensive pressure, but unfortunately, it does not succumb to it. it succumbs to the Haxorus's earthquake. Uh, and Haxorus takes down a second Pokemon this game. Yeah. So um, I don't know. I I think this might. This looks very one-sided right now, because I don't think any of Noah's Pokemon can outspeed a Scarf Pokemon, unless Noah has a Scarf. Anything that's Focus sure. Sash is automatically broken because of these rocks, so... Oh boy. Ooh, Gengar's definitely most definitely gonna get outspeed here too. You know what would've been great? If Gengar still kept Levitate. Mm. If Gengar oh. did have the Levitate, it... <laughs> in fact, I think in this generation, <laughs> it having Levitate wouldn't be that bad. Yeah. Definitely wouldn't have. Yeah, because there's a lot of like psychic Pokemon, lots of ghosts, dark type moves. In comes Ooh. the earthquake, but the cursed body, the cursed body is so good. He's locked into that earthquake unless he's swabbing. Well, I mean, so sure if well, because of how disable and a choice item works, if he goes tries to go for the earthquake, he does struggle instead. So Zach switches out, default comes out, and in comes the Hisuian Gudra. That poor thing. I'm kind of surprised he didn't bring this out earlier as well, now that I think about it. It doesn't look like he's running Misty Terrain either. Well, it's probably well, did, because... Did it say Neutralizing Gas? Uh, I didn't see it. No, I didn't see Neutralizing Gas, but it's probably because of the Haxorus that outsped everything, so he didn't want a chance that he wanted to get that Haxorus out. Oh, it is Neutralizing Gas. I see mm. it now. I just ah. up a little bit. Wow. Nightshade coming out, followed by a Flash Cannon. Petrofron kind of takes it, not too much. Nightshade with the 100 damage each turn, will he be able to take down this Gudra to make at least Zack? Now, does Zack want to preserve this? Two. That's the question. Because this Petron can effectively stall out this uh, this Gudra. Down goes the Gudra to the Petron's Ooh, Nightshade. I feel Ooh, like... Petron really doing work for, uh, for, uh, for Nolan, though. Yeah, but I feel like that Zack could have swapped it out, but he probably didn't want to. But comes in in comes the latios with the luster purge finishing off this match um pretty one-sided on this match but um i i feel like maybe uh, it was looking a little dicey for some pokemon not too much for others the duraludon over the archelodon was certainly a interesting pick and i'm surprised you know, a good game, 
Good game, dude. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah, and we have our two contestants here. We have Kanakazag and Tenebra Squire. Welcome, guys. Gotta say, very interesting battle. There you go. <laughs> That's all anyway. you gotta say. No, I posted the, the replay. Oh. Oh, you was the replay. Honestly, nice. no, so the thing I was actually most terrified was your Sneasler. The Sneasler was an interesting choice. It's probably one it's... of the fastest poison Pokemon out there. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know what they didn't have anything to resist that earthquake or anything that was faster so than your hacks. I, I'm gonna, Axel, I'm gonna tell you this. That so no, I want you to, I want you to feel honored because I had to whip out the scary Haxorus. Yeah, that's a signature <laughs> Pokemon. That's the old school Haxorus that only one person in this group has stopped. Hello. No one else has survived it. Okay. So. Yeah. No, honestly, I, I think I, I'm honestly surprised. No, did you have toxic spikes on any, any of your stuff? Uh, no. Ah, were you were you hoping I was gonna take a, like a physical dragon just to uh, proc the the toxic debris? Or that did you have and stuff? I didn't have the correct uh, temper packs on. Mm. Oh what? Ah. Oh. I mean, it was... I have one with toxic spikes, but I didn't. I, I guess I copied and pasted the wrong one. <laughs> well, Why, what is what is the percent chance for cursed body? Out of curiosity, it's about a thirty percent chance, I believe. Oh damn! It's either thirty yeah, so or it's fifty percent it. chance. Let me take a look right there. Okay, okay. I was thinking about it. I'm like, cursed body isn't so. It's not going to be reliable enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Curse, mm -hmm. yes, cursed body is thirty percent chance. But, uh, okay. I was really hoping you had Levitate on that glare reason though. No, but it wouldn't matter because of the Haxorus's uh, Mold Breaker. Oh, mold Breaker, that's what, right. I, I, I what he really needed was a Flying type Pokemon. He definitely. But there's no Flying Poison types this gen. The fuck. No, but Wait, we do. There flying type poison? There is a Flying po Poison. It's a. Uh, it's a. Um, 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 Crobat. Crobat is your. But it's only. not in this oh, gen. Bro. It's not God, in this gen. You are correct. Flying type. Poison. Yeah, it's only the Crobat. It's only the Zubat line that has it. Uh, that's unfortunate that it's not in this game because that actually would have helped Noah out with getting that ground immunity. Oh, that would have fucked me up. But there's also I think, yeah, because that's a very because because yeah, Crobat could have been really fast and like Crobat with like what I think people like also try to run like Final Gambit sometimes. Uh, people also use a Choice Band on it just because it's really fast. They use Brave Bird. Um poison jab whatsoever um i think okay. what could help noah out for future battles knowing now that he doesn't have a ground immunity he can either use the wild card to get him oh no but the wild card has to be poison he uh the only thing that i can see is getting uh terra flying on one of his pokemon or equipping one of his pokemon with the air balloon which will give him that ground immunity for it until it pops uh, Honestly, that Petrarot was a lot more tanky than I thought it was going to be. I'm going to be honest with you. I yeah, know, right? I'm surprised by how tanky it is. When, it's when, when my when my when my Hisuian Gudo didn't do shit to it, I was like, uh. I know, considering that, like, I believe it has 160 defense. If I'm not, and yeah, it's and 80, special, like 80, 80, 80 special, 80 special, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80 special, something. Yeah. Yeah, but, but then, I was like, the oh, nightshade, shit. the nightshade actually helps it out just because it can't do that much damage. Luckily, it was able to take that flash cannon. I'm imagining the Petron was probably max HP. Well, also, I don't think it's, it's his silly and Gudra. Uh, like, does it have good offensive stats? I'm not too familiar with it. Uh, special attack is 110. Oh, that's not bad. But it would have been a three hit KO had it not been for the recover and Lux Sledge. But no, you would have killed my Hisui and Gudra. No, without the recover, you would have won. You would have killed it. Yeah. But, but Luster Purge is stupid. Yeah, Luster Purge is uh very good. It goes right it into his upgraded. team. Yeah. Oh, it got upgraded. Uh, the interesting mod that I saw on your team, Zach, was definitely that Raging Bolt. Everything else looked pretty standard. You know, you have the two Steel types. That way you don't get poisoned. Haxorus, which get fires off the strong Earthquake. Same for Garchomp, getting the Stab, and Latios with the Psychic. Um, How'd you feel about the Terra Ground? Terra Ground was a... Uh... You really That's wanted to hurt his pride, didn't you? <laughs> no, it's... 
What do you mean? I know, it's because it's such a good thing, it just fires off. But definitely, what from what we saw, that is a choice scarf, Haxorus. Uh, from Noah's team, I did like some what? of his you don't know that. Dude, it outsped a Sneasler. Yeah, I had. Yeah, the only way that's happening is if it's scarfed. Yeah, I think Haxorus has what, this 97 speed? 97 speed, yes. Sneezler's probably somewhere around 115. If not higher. But, uh, yeah. Definitely an interesting match. I do, uh, Glenn and I were saying we do wish that the Gengar had levitate, like, in past generations. Because in this generation, there's so many things that can take care of Gengar easily, so... It's just unfortunate, and... There's a reason why they had to give it the curse body instead, right? Yeah, well, it, that was back then, but now with all these new Pokemon and all these Terra types, anything can happen. That's true. Yeah, so they should have given it. Well, the... it sounds like it would be annoying. If anything, they should have given Levitate as maybe like the standard ability and the Curse Body as the hidden ability. But let's face it, everyone would choose the Levitate over that. Yeah, yeah. I agree. But uh, it was a great battle, guys. Uh, we're looking forward to having more. Uh, looking at that, uh, congratulations, Zach. You are now first in the league. Ah! Yes! Oh. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> so with that, with, with this 4-0 win, that puts Zach, uh, Kanaka Zach, in first place in our league, followed what? by myself. Oh. Yes. Is. Yes, you are first. <laughs> but, uh... uh no, I'm not. But uh, anyways, for the week three matches, uh, Zach, your next opponent is Chris. So that's Bug versus Dragon. Uh, from what I've been hearing from Chris, it, um, it sounds like it's going to be a pretty interesting match, or at least he hopes to. I hope it's an interesting match. I just like seeing Pokemon battles, so be looking out for that. And for Noah, your next opponent is Nino. It's going to be uh, Poison versus Fairy. You have the upper hand, Nino. but let's not be uh, let's not be scared about fairies because uh, well, let's let's <laughs> not forget. How scary the fairies of this generation can be. No, fuck Nino up. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> fuck uh, me up. Choice, choice scarf your, uh, your, your Petra and poison the fuck out of his team. <laughs> 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 well, definitely that Petrot will prove to be some sort of problem for Nino in the bat in the battle because of that malignant train. But uh, you know what? We'll have to tune in next week. So everyone, until then, we'll see you. Bye. Bye. -bye.